Hi, and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking particle 3D text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 10 seconds. You can leave the frame rate at, let's say, 30 frames. So once you have that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid. And so this is going to be called particles. And what I'm going to use here is, it doesn't matter about the color, we are going to be searching for an effect called CC particle world. So once we've got that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to open up the grid and guides and we're just going to get rid of the grid, the horizon and the access box just so that you can see everything there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go down to particle and we're just going to change the particle type to a faded sphere. Now if you scrub through this timeline, you can start to see the colors. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to bring this over to the left just so that when we start there will be particles there and then I'm just going to extend it for the duration of that 10 seconds. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to change the color that we're you know since we're here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the first color to white and the second color I'm going to change to a color I'm going to grab from color hunt. So this is the blue that I'm going to use and we're going to use this later. So now that I've got my color I can just import it back into the particle world and you can see that now it just has a small tinge of blue. Now we need to actually start changing some of the settings in here. So the first thing that we're going to change is the birth size. We're going to change that to 0 0.07. We're going to change the depth size to 0 0.01 and we are going to change the longevity to let's say 3.6 and we're going to change the birth rate the overall birth rate up here to let's say 0.1 and so now you can see we've really taken a lot out of there now it's not really doing what i want it to do so we're going to fix that up right now so the first thing that we're going to do here is we are just going to go to this x value over here and we're just going to spread it out just so it fits on top of the screen. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to the bottom, just underneath there, so you can't really see it. Then what we need to do is we need to go into the physics section over here, and we need to go to gravity, and we're gonna change the gravity to 0.01. And so now that will bring the particles up. So that's looking pretty cool, but we're gonna change a few other things as well. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to change the animation to viscose. And then what we are going to do is we are going to increase the random seat. So I'm just gonna go down to extras and I'm just going to bump this up to, it doesn't really matter what number you put it on there. So now we have these cool floating particles that float upwards. And that's pretty much done for the particle section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-compose this and I'm going to call that particles and I'm just going to move all the attributes and I'll just keep that there for now. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to work on the text layer. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new text layer. So we're going to come down here, new text layer, and then we are going to write our word. So I'm going to write create. I'm going to change the font to Montserrat and I'll change it to, let's say, the bold version, even the black version. I'm just going to lower the font size. And what we need to do is we need to change the fill to, let's say, black. And the stroke we are going to change to white. And I'm just going to have a stroke of two pixels and once you've done that then you can align it to the center of your screen and then what you need to do is you need to pre-compose that so i'm just going to come down here pre-compose and i'm just going to call that text okay cool so now once you've pre-comped your text double click that text layer and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the composition settings and we are just going to change the width and the height to something that just fits the text that we have so you can see here as I'm moving it down, 
you can see that it's getting a little bit shorter on the ends and we're going to do the same thing for the height so i'm just going to move it down to let's say probably about maybe like 215 something like that then just press ok so once you've done that go back to your original composition and we need to make sure that that is a 3d layer and now to get the 3d effect what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this text pre-comp so so now once you have made that text layer a 3d comp what you need to do is you need to duplicate it you need to press p and then you will see all of these x y and z axis you go to the z axis and you write negative 15 and then you repeat that process again so command d to duplicate p to open up the text position and then we can write minus 15 and you can see that it's changing it there so we can do this a number of times the more times that you do this obviously the better the effect will look Cool. so now once I've done my text the next thing that we need to do is we need to right click and add a new camera I'm just going to go with a 50 mil and then I need to right click and add a new null object once you've got that you need to parent the camera to the null object make sure that it's a 3d layer and now if you come over here to the orbit tool you can see the stacked effect that we're created so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the null and I'm just going to press R for orientation and I'm just going to hit the stopwatch at the first keyframe and then I'm going to move forward in time to let's say about two seconds and then I'm just going to move some of these values over. So I'm going to change that value there and I'm just going to change that value there as well. And so now if you scrub through that, you can see that we've created that pretty cool animation there. So to easy ease the keyframes, you just have to highlight both keyframes. You can go to animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the graph editor and I'm just going to grab one point, drag it over a bit and the next point and drag it over until we have that peak in the middle. And so now if you preview that, now it's got a little bit of acceleration but we want the animation to keep on going so what we're going to do is we are going to hold option and click on that stopwatch and we are going to write loop out and then i'm going to press tab and then i'm going to press uh, quotations and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit ping pong and so now if you preview that you will see that it goes to that position and then comes back for the duration of the timeline and that's looking pretty cool but now we're going to add some other things so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a animation to that last text layer of that group that we have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the stopwatch for position on the last text layer that we have over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go out to about let's say one second and then i'm just going to drag it out to let's say maybe negative uh, 300 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first keyframe and then at two seconds paste it back and so now you can see that that text is kind of moving as well so what we're going to do is we are going to easy ease those keyframes so you can well, press F9 if you like and then I'm going to go back into the graph editor and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that peak on both sides of the animation so now when i preview that you will see that it kind of pops out and then comes back in and that's looking pretty nice so now the final thing you need to do is the same thing that we've done with the orientation we're going to hold option and we are going to write loop out and then we are going to write ping pong as well and so that will keep that animation going throughout the entire composition so now once we've done the animation the final thing that we can do is add some color to this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for an effect called glow now if you have deep glow deep glow works really well in this scenario but if you don't have it you can just use normal glow so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to change the white color to the blue that we used from the start for our particles and we just need to change a few things we're going to change the glow based on the alpha channel and we're just going to change the glow operation to uh, overlay and we're just going to set that to none and now all we need to do is just play around with some of these 
uh, settings over here. So I'm just going to increase the threshold to, let's say, 100%. And I'm just going to bring the glow intensity up slightly. And I'm just going to bring up the glow radius maybe a bit as well. So now once you're happy with that, now you have some text with some color and it's got a nice glow on there and it's looking pretty good. So the final thing that we can do here is if you don't like the position of your text, then you can go back into your null, press P for position and then you can just, you know, move it around to wherever you want. So I kind of want to keep it like there in the middle. So the final thing that we're going to do is we are just going to grab all of those layers and then we are going to pre-compose that. And so I'm just going to call that uh, text. And then the last thing that we're going to do here is we are just going to add an adjustment layer and we're going to search for noise and we're going to put some noise on here. So maybe up to about 5%. And the final thing you can do is you can add a texture behind all of it. So I've downloaded a texture from Pexels and all I'm going to do is just import it in. And so there's my texture and all I have to do is just go back to my composition and I can put it underneath my particles and I can obviously scale it down because it's a 4K clip. And there we have that completed. And so if you preview that, now it's looking pretty good. You've got some 3D text happening there. You have some particles in the background as well. And I think it looks pretty nice. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create some 3D particle text. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.